Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw tangents. So like in our case here, we're having these rules, to these two rules for tangents. If our arc is going in like this or like this, we add. If it's going out like this or like this, we're going to separate. All right. For example, let me just make example here. Like if let's say we're moving a circle here, another circle here, and we're having an arc. I think this arc maybe is 100, radius 100. Then the radius of this one, let's say it's 15. Radius of this one, let's say maybe it's 20. Let's make it 20. All right, so you can see that in our rules that the curve is going out. So even this one's going out, we're going to separate. What are you separating? I start with this one. We're going to say 100 minus 20 radius. And we're going to get 8 here. Because this curve is touching this radius. This curve is touching this radius. So I'm going to say 100 minus 20. And then for this one. This one's for 8 is for this one. Then this one I'm going to say 100 minus 15 then i'm gonna get a uh, 85 so 85 85 is for this one so because this arc is touching this circle and this circle so we're going to say 100 minus 20 for this one then for this one we're going to say 100 minus 15 so like now we take a compass you measure 80 you put your compass here because 20 was for this one then you make an arc this side you make an arc this side after you measure 85 with your compass remember 15 was for this second you gonna put your compass there you make an arc if you make an arc this is gonna meet here then you can put your compass here and measure 100 you're gonna get this curve right all right uh, let me do another example if maybe in this case maybe i having this circle here then circle here and then the curve now is going in then the same radius maybe is 30. Let's say the radius here is uh, 15. Radius here maybe is also 20. All right, so you can see in our rules here that if the curve is going in, we add. So here I'm going to say 30 again. 30 plus 20 for this one because this curve is touching this circle and this circle. So it's going to be. 50 then for this one i'm going to say 80 plus 15 then you're gonna get 45 after you take your compass you measure 50 you put your compass here because 20 radius for this one you make an arc this side an arc this side after you measure 45 with your compass you put your compass here you make an arc this side where they're gonna meet is your point now you can measure radius 80 and put your compass there you're going to get this are correct all right so just assume maybe it was a straight line if maybe this one's a vertical straight line or central straight line they are saying maybe there's a radius of 16 here you can just measure 16 from here to here 16 from here to here 16 you can draw a straight line here straight line here where they're gonna meet is your point you can measure radius 16 you can get this one correct only if we have horizontal line and vertical line but in this case you can't do that you can't do this here in this case what you can do you can measure 16 in your compass you put it anywhere along the straight line you make a arc 16 then another some distance apart you make another arc then you draw a line here with this arc and here yeah. so in other ways this line and this one they are parallel by 16. then i go for this one i do the same thing 16 i make an arc 16 some distance apart and make an arc a draw line here so this part also from here to here they are parallel by 16 where this parallel line meet is your point now you can put your compass there with the radius of 16 you can get this curve right this one now can i get the curve here right all right let's example now i'm having a a circle I'm having a circle. I'm having something less to something like this. The thing here we're having radius of of 30. 30, 30. 
Then I'm here having radius of 20. So remember for this curve, if it's going in, we add. So I'm going to say 20 plus it. It gives me 50. But this curve is touching this radius, but here it's, it's touching a straight line. Remember for straight line, you must do, you must measure 30, you make a curve, curve, then you draw parallel line. Because it's a straight line, so what we did here. But for this one, for radius, we're going to say 50, measure our compass there, then we can, where they're going to meet is your point. Now you can measure 30, you can get this curve right. Thank you for watching.